talked about, you know, if someone's going to make a, a change with their business, they have to have either a sense of urgency or they have to have the belief that they can make those changes. And, you know, a common objection that you and I have seen with coaches that live in the UK is like, oh, this is like only an American thing. Like, you know, people over here won't pay a subscription. And then like you and I have also seen coaches in our program, mm -hmm. like this guy in Ireland, Thomas, mm -hmm. who's has subscription based everything within within his training business. Yeah. Like, if someone's belief is low on switching how they run their business, if they were on a call with you, what would be like a piece of advice you would give them? <laughs> That's a really good question. Um I think it, it, it goes back down to, in, in my opinion, it comes back down to what's your, what's your philosophy with your business, right? So it comes back down to what, what does your business stand for, right? Because if someone asks me, right, Leo, what, what does your academy specialize in? If I'm able to answer that, then that, no, then that for me means that I have a belief in what I'm doing. A lot of the coaches we speak to, you ask them, what do you specialize in? Oh, I specialize in one-to-one. -one. Oh, I specialize in group. But they, they, won't, they don't narrow down exactly what problem they solve for, for clients. So if, you don't, if you're not solving a problem for your clients, then you know, your clients will never really be able to trust you, I believe, when you make the transition with your business. Right. Be because essentially, when you have a philosophy, you're taking that client through a journey. Right. So where when they start from you, the development they're making until, you know, when they leave your program, which hopefully they leave, to, to go on to better and, and greater things. But if that client has a belief in what you're offering, then when you transition your business, whether that be you're transitioning uh, the structure of the program or the payment system, then it's a no-brainer for parents. Parents will be like, okay, that's fine, we'll, we'll do it. But when you don't even know what, your program stands for, what your business represents, then it's easy for parents to take the exit. Because they're like, oh, do you know what? Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to go and just do something else. Because yeah. it also comes down to, so if your client, from the first moment they start training with you, if you're not on point to the point where if you don't speak to the parent on a sales call and if you don't actually explain and break down from the beginning what your program does then you can't go halfway down when that client's been with you three or, or four or five months and say right we're transitioning to now a monthly payment because in that parent's mind they're going to think oh do you know what he just wants more money from me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I hope that makes sense. It does.